Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fu. Finally, I come to the last slide on my prediction series. So, so far I have finished uh, chemistry predictions, both pure and combined, biology and level, physics O level. Now I'm doing the O level combined science prediction 2022. Now, let's look back at what was tested in the previous year. So these are the topics and concepts tested in paper one, base quantities, how to determine acceleration, but not the calculation, work done, calculations involving circumference or circle, Newton's second law and calculation of acceleration, gravitational field strength, what is it? Moment, turning effect of forces, calculation, power, how air is a good insulator of thermal energy, the concept of evaporation, boiling point, and internal energy. There is an interesting question on spring versus rope, which was kind of unexpected last year. Reflection of light and angles between reflected ray and undeflected light ray, which is unconventional as well. Images of lens, movement of sound wave, calculation of wavelength, speed and frequency, electric field lines, calculation of resistance, units of EMF, formula of energy in relation to voltage, current and time, cost of electricity and the application of Fleming's left hand rule. Interestingly, there are some unconventional questions and some very basic questions like units of EMF and calculation of resistance. So there's a mix of unconventional, standard and basic questions. Just to take note that it is not true to say that whatever that appeared in paper one will not appear in paper two and vice versa. The concept that was tested in paper two could be replicated in paper one. For example, turning effect of forces. So it's not so evident. Of course, most of the concepts that were tested in paper two will not be in paper one, but there could be some concepts tested again in the multiple choice section in a different format. Okay. Now, let's look at paper two. Um, there were some similarities between the combined science and the pure science, surprisingly. So... My senior teacher always said that to me, if you want to predict what may come out for the pure syllabus and the combined, look at the N-level. And N-level paper was held earlier. So using that, they can kind of predict what are the possible questions actually, which is very true. Now for paper two, um, these are the concepts tested, scalar and vector quantities. Calculation of moment, calculation of GPE, not so much on KE in 2021. Work done, again, force acceleration, again. Convection and radiation, describe motion of particles in sound wave. Calculations involving frequency, wavelength, and speed. By the way, I also created a um, document that summarizes the standard questions and answers. One of them is on motion of particles in sound wave. I have another document that summarizes the important definitions and equations. And one of them is the equation that relates wavelength, frequency, and speed, which was heavily tested in last year's paper. And of course, the concept of wave and sound, calculation of charge and current. This was very standard. Circuit calculation definitely will be tested every year without fear. Magnetism and this time around they apply it to read switch. Concept of permanent and temporary magnet, hard magnetic material versus soft magnetic material. How does it apply to the question? And not what is it, but how is it applicable to read switch? What if we use a permanent magnet or switch? What will happen? Pressure concept and its calculation. Diagram of ray diagram. Drawing of ray diagram. My apology for lenses critical angle and total internal reflection, energy conversions and relation to resultant force acceleration to speed. Yep. Gravitational field strength again, energy conversions, 
density and change of density solid versus liquid. Concept of internal energy, internal kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic particle theory in motion and arrangement of particles was also tested. So if you look back at what were tested in 2021, these are the popular topics, space, quantities, and prefixes. Uh, there were some questions that require students to do some conversion of units. So for example, giga, giga joule to joule, something like that. Okay. So please be careful, millimeter to meter. So students need to be very familiar with the conversion of units, which will be tested again every year without fail. Forces, mass and weight, density, kinetic particle theory, turning effects of forces, energy and power, pressure, thermal properties of metal and transfer of thermal energy, length and wave, critical angle, total internal reflection, current, electricity, DC circuit and electric field. Practical electricity involving calculations, not so much on safety devices like fuse and earth wire, magnetism, electromagnetism. Now, my own prediction for this year's paper was not exhaustive. I'm not giving the whole list, but I'm trying to list out those concepts that were not tested. So there is a chance, but may not be tested in this year's paper. So this will miss out. So those that are missed out, right, I will predict they have a higher chance of appearing, all right? For example, vernier calipers and micrometer screw gauge, measurement of period, interpretation of graph in kinematics, Newton's third law and first law, and vector diagram. Concept of inertia, uh, practical electricity, uh, not so much on safety aspect, like what are the electric hazard, you know, overloading, short circuit, blah, blah, blah maybe they will have a greater emphasis on the safety aspect this year. Stability, not tested at all last year. GP, KE, KE was not really tested, okay? And conversion energy, what is the law of conservation energy and work done? Transfer of thermal energy, including other applications. So there will be more, maybe this time around, they will have conduction in paper two. And of course, don't neglect like, yeah, this time round could have a question on refraction, sine i over sine r this time round. EM wave, not so much, maybe more on the users and some applications of EM wave and their properties. Magnetism, definitely electric field, yes. Sound and wave. Sound maybe determine the speed of sound, I'm not sure. Could be the relation between frequency and pitch, amplitude and loudness, okay? Circuit calculations application definitely tested in a different form. And do take note that the questions are modified from pure physics paper. So it's good to take a look and try some of the questions that could be uh, cascaded into the combined science syllabus. So I hope it helps you to prepare better for this paper. Thank you.